Hey guys, welcome back. We're back at it with what just may be the world's largest articulated fish. Either way, it's definitely the largest articulated Xander fish utilizing this particular model as I designed it nearly a year ago. Ironically, this actually might be pretty close to what the real life fish looks like, size wise at least. So you might be wondering why I even made this fish in the first place. And it's not just to have the world's largest articulated fish, and it was actually to test out the Prusa XL with the new input shaper. I wanted to see if at its fastest setting, the input shaper could do pretty good with the Prusa XL. And sure enough, it actually did. But before we actually look at how it did, let's go into Prusa Slicer and just show you how much of a difference input shaper really makes. So here in Prusa Slicer, you can see that with the input shaper at its speed setting, it took 14 and a half hours, or that's what it said it would take. And then if you go to input structural setting, then 17 and a half and no input shaper is over 22 and a half. And that's quite a bit of a difference. That's like nearly double if you go all the way to the speed. So there's definitely a huge difference in time. But does that also do it with quality? That's kind of what I was wondering. So, as a result, I decided to test it with the speed setting, see if I could get a good result, first try, no failures, and that was this fish. Honestly, I'm actually pretty impressed with it. As for the quality, there's not a ton of issues with it. There's really just some overhanging issues, like right here, and then like pretty much all the joints. But that's because the overhangs were quite rough, and aside from that, it doesn't have anything major there is some minor scarring or lines i'm not even really sure what caused that but it just appears to be right there and the rest of the print looks really good what was even better is that it actually did work first try as long as you don't count me intentionally stopping the first one as i noticed that i had a slicing error <laughs> Yeah, that would not have been great. This literally, the head would have disconnected and that would have been sad to have the entire fish model wasted. Anyways, now that you've seen the result, the rest of the video is actually going to be about the process of creating the fish, the time lapse that is, and then the process of getting it up to this hotel, which was actually kind of fun. And finally, we'll be testing whether the fish can float, along with getting some cool shots. So with that out of the way, let's go hit it. Hey guys, so we're going to start printing that gigantic fish right now. I really only have, this is like the last possible moment I will. So if it fails, I'm kind of screwed because I have state cross country tomorrow. There's the printer. We're going to swap it out for, uh, where's the orange? Here's the orange right here. Orange filament for the back. So we actually need white. Where's white? White. This is not enough, so we're actually going to use uh, this one. And yeah, let's get this thing printing. Um.
We're gonna see if it floats. Water. Oh, it is. Oh. It literally floats. It looks dead though. <laughs> it's a dead fish. Okay, now we're going to the deeper part. <laughs> nice. Imagine it's nice. Or you just float it away. Okay. okay, drop it like nose dive. This way? Yeah, just like. Oh, that one didn't work good. Okay, oh well. Spin it, and then you go. Boink. Well, that's what I thought. No, 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 no. <laughs> Welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. I personally had quite a bit of fun with it. My favorite part was probably being a little bit late to the cross country send off just so that I could get the articulated fish and bring it up here to record. See ya. Also for the weekly extra, this week is not gonna be about the state course that I'm up here about to do in a couple of hours and will actually be about districts. The next one will be about the state one. Aside from that, yeah. Boom, boom. Oh wow, he uh, he shaved some time off. It was 